Hey all, in this second inking video, I wanna show you about how I sort of ink using different layers, even when I'm inking traditionally. First, I put down a background layer of an ink wash using my paintbrush water and little bits of my Speedball waterproof ink. And that helps form the shape for the hair of the figures in the background. I hit that with a hair dryer to speed up the drying process and also to sort of push the ink more where I want it than where it just dropped. Uh, next I go in with my calligraphy pen which I use as a drawing pen because I'm like that and I do the lines on the hands for the figures that are pulling at the hair of the figure which is the focal point of this piece. I then go in with a brush and I apply an opaque black at the bottom of the hand at the ends of the hands and then use some more of that same paintbrush water to draw the transparency out toward the upper arm to give it a really smoky effect. Because ink has this beautiful way of, of just billowing very naturally if you thin it enough and if you take your time. I then hit that with a hair dryer a second time to make sure that that layer, quote unquote, is also dry before I put my hand directly on top of it to ink something else. When I ink the details in this part of the page, I rest my hand squarely on the paper and you can clearly see that. To avoid ruining everything I've just done, I make sure that I apply the color or ink in layers and then I make sure it's dry before I touch it. That way I can ink over it and get the same level of detail without all of the ink running. You can also see that I tend to ink in a clockwise direction. Uh, maybe not here directly in the hair, but when I get to the, uh, the skulls around the outside, you can really see that I'm going in a clockwise direction so that I'm not laying my arm over something that I've just inked. some more contour lines for the hair of the kind of smoky figures, the shadows in the background, to give them a more defined shape. And to show that you really can't, you can layer inking details over an ink wash pretty easily if you just wait for everything to dry. Even if you impatiently wait with a hair dryer. That just puts a little bit more detail and a little bit more shape into the piece. Last thing I'm going to do is come in with a little bit of white acrylic paint just to brighten up some areas that were either left a little too dark by the ink wash or that I may have made some simple mistakes on or just changed my mind about. You can see when I put it on to the hair that the figures are pulling, it really helps bring out the different shapes and the different weights in the piece itself. Here's the finished piece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next video. I might not. You might not watch the next video if I make it. And I might not even make it. Thank you for watching. Bye!